Today on Immortality Now, human growth hormone, HGH, is a naturally occurring hormone that stimulates growth, cell reproduction, and cell regeneration. But its use as a sports-enhancing substance has given it a bad name. In this episode, Dr. Klatz makes the argument for HGH as a safe and critically important hormone that should be managed and supplemented in much the same way that your doctor would manage your thyroid hormone or insulin. So if you want the true story on HGH, stay tuned to this episode of Immortality Now. Human growth hormone, HGH, an unfairly and deliberately misrepresented medical therapy. Human growth hormone is one of the most widely researched hormones in the medical armamentarium. There are tens of thousands of children every year who are taking human growth hormone for short stature. It works. It works. There are so many less dwarfs and midgets today than there would be without the use of human growth hormone. Okay, this is a very safe therapy and has been used therapeutically for over 50 years around the world in tens and tens and tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of children. Well, it's also being used in adults. Why? Because after the age of 20, we lose the amount of human growth hormone circulating in our bodies, such that by the age 30, 40, 50, most of us have almost undetectable levels of human growth hormone. And human growth hormone is a very powerful hormone, as important to the body as insulin, as important to the body as testosterone, as important to the body as thyroid hormone. Now, if you were deficient in thyroid hormone and your doctor knew it and didn't replace that thyroid hormone, well, you'd scratch your head and you'd say, yeah, what kind of doctor is he? Maybe he's guilty of malpractice. If you were deficient in insulin and you had diabetes because of it and he did not replace that insulin, he would definitely be guilty of malpractice. But for some reason, human growth hormone is this kind of gray area that seems to get a bad reputation completely undeserved. Because when you replace human growth hormone in adults, you're replacing it at very, very, very minute amounts, almost homeopathic amounts. In some cases, as little as a seventh to a tenth what you might give a child. Now, if a drug is effective in children, at 10 times the dose and safe, at 10 times the dose as a drug that you give an adult, where's the danger? Where are the bodies? Where is the literature that promote, that talks about the danger in humans? I'm not talking about in a Petri dish. I'm not talking about in a mouse that doesn't naturally produce growth hormone, which were used uh, as excuses for not giving adults human growth hormone. I'm talking about in, in, in people who are deficient. We know that in the studies that have been published, that adults who are chronically deficient in human growth hormone develop all sorts of immune problems, cognitive problems, problems with shrinkage of their organs, shrinkage of their bone and their muscle, and that by replacing just a small amount of that human growth hormone, they regain those missing organs. So where's the problem with that? I'm not suggesting that anybody just take any hormone willy-nilly. That's foolish. Just as you would not give insulin to someone who is not insulin deficient, you don't give any hormone to someone who's not deficient in that hormone. I'm suggesting, and certainly anti-aging physicians of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine have all been trained that their patients should be tested, not once, not twice, but multiple times for these various hormones and to replace only the ones that they are deficient in and only to physiologic levels, not super physiologic levels. Because at natural physiologic levels, these are very safe drugs. There's almost no side effect complex associated with them. And when the side effects, if they do occur, they, they're not permanent, they're temporary and they disappear very rapidly. So if you evaluate the patient properly, if you test them regularly for their levels of these various hormones and replace them 
only to physiologic levels, not super physiological levels. These are very safe drugs, and they are very effective for improving quality of life and ultimately, perhaps even quantity of life. And I don't see that there should be any prohibition against that type of modest, scientific, appropriate, physiologic use of a safe and effective drug that has been studied extensively for the past 50 years. I say yes to human growth hormone. And as a matter of fact, I like it so much, I even wrote a book on it, Grow Young with HGH. I'm Dr. Klatz for Immortality Now and for the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. Live long and well, and God bless. Funding for Immortality Now was provided by Energy Development, better health through non-invasive technology. For more information, visit energydev.com. And by Ondamed, this non-invasive therapeutic approach uses biofeedback and pulsed electromagnetic stimulation to help patients improve their stress tolerance. To learn more or to find a practitioner near you, go to ondamed.net.